Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Karen's Kitchen. I come to you today making the pumpkin butter as I promised you I was going to. I said I would make pumpkin butter in the quick cooker, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, it doesn't take very many ingredients. Hi, sweetie. Good to see you. Wish I could have talked to you this morning, but you'll have to let me know how everything's going. Hi, good to see you, Melissa. Good to see you, Erlene. Thank you, everybody, for coming in. Well, they're all coming in pretty fast now. Yay! Hooray! Here comes my followers. Here comes my awesome followers. Thank you so much. All my awesome followers are coming in. View, I, I, It's wonderful. Thank you so much. I couldn't share on Facebook yesterday, but I sure can today. Well, thank you for being so awesome and coming in from day to day. I sure do appreciate it. <clears throat> oh, we got home from getting medicines. I hope Brandon gets the feeling okay. My grandson, Tristan, the eight-year-old, he's not doing too good today either, so he's got a fever so pretty sick i think so my daughter said so anyway all right this is the instant pot pot of course we know anything for the instant pot will go in the quick cooker oh you didn't yesterday uh you know i, I don't know about periscope sometimes anyway this calls for 12 ounces of pumpkin puree which would be a cup and a half which i'm going to put that in my in my pot And then it calls for a half a cup of apple juice or cider. Well, I've got some apple juice, and I'm going to put that in here. you got to have liquid to make your, to make your steam. Um, and a quarter cup, it says a quarter cup of packed brown sugar. Well, um, I'm not going to use brown sugar. I'm going to use coconut sugar. So I'm going to put that in here. Um, measure out a quarter cup. And just, just use my... Um, my coconut sugar. I would much rather do that because I don't have any brown sugar anyway. And I will let you know that my corn chips didn't come out too bad yesterday, except they're a little they're a little crispy. I think I had it on too long. I put it on 300, and I've been I've been trying to have to chomp on them real hard to eat them. They are done, however. But I think the next time I make them, I'm going to have to put it on on a little. You know, I put it on 300 for about a half hour, and I think that. <laughs> That probably was a little too much. I wanted to make sure I got them good and done because the first batch wasn't crispy at all. So I thought, well, I'll, because I had it on 250, and I thought, I'll raise it up to 300 and put it in for a little longer. Well, <laughs> you learn after you've done it, you know. Um, I might be able to find a recipe, <clears throat> recipe for it out on the, on the Internet, too. They would tell you exactly how to do it. So welcome to everybody that's coming in, and thank you for coming in. Like I said, I'm in lieu of brown sugar. I'm going to use coconut sugar. This is a uh, unrefined and it's non-GMO and it's organic. And I also use cane sugar and a little of white sugar. So I'll bring that over here. Okay, because I don't want to get that spill. I don't want that spilling all over. I'm just lean up against my. And that calls for one tablespoon of <coughs> granulated white sugar. Well, I know you know I use cane sugar. Close this back up. And this should be an easy an easy thing for everybody to make. Shouldn't take you. I'm gonna put this back. That shouldn't be too hard to make. Um, let's see. One table I mean, I've got the white sugar in there, the um Brown sugar, I got a quarter cup. I got half a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. Okay, that's what I need. Half a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. Okay, I think I got it in here. Here's a half a tablespoon. Okay, half a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. Welcome to everybody coming in. Thank you for sharing this out. And let's see, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I just got my vanilla yesterday. I ran out of it. Um, this is the kind I got again at Amazon. No, I don't. I certainly don't. Um, there is a consultant that comes on my Periscope, however. I don't know if she's in here right now. Alexis can do. She sells it. She's the consultant. I've, I've, 
I'm going to have a party coming up um, next Monday. Oh, this has got the wrapping on the outside of it. And uh, I will be um, trying to, you know, uh, get some free stuff. And, uh, but I don't sell it, no. I do buy a lot of it, though. Let me get my, um, I, might, I forgot to take this and, and get the seal off. Here I am trying to open this up. There we go. Just want to loosen that enough to get this off. There we go. But that's a good question. I'm glad you asked that because other, other ones have asked the same thing. And no, I don't sell it. So, but I do, I do buy it. I do buy quite a bit of it. I've got, this is a Pampered Chef product right here that I'm using. Sorry for this, for getting to take this off of here. No. There we go. All right. And I don't feel so bad now. Um, <laughs> as I watched, I watched uh, Alexis's replay this morning, and she had a hard time melting her straw, her her marshmallow. So I didn't. I don't feel so bad when my when my stuff doesn't come out very good. <laughs> she mentioned that. She mentioned that on her Periscope this morning. She said, oh, Karen will probably bring that up. Well, I, 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 I'm, I'm running with it. She forgot to, she had a problem problem melting her marshmallows this morning for her for her uh, candy that she was doing with her Lucky Charms. All right, that's everything in here. Then I'm going to give this a good stir. Hi, Alexis. I haven't got this a going yet. I'm just getting ready to, to turn it on. I'm just adding all the ingredients into my pot. Okay, let me get my lid. Now, okay, manual for, I've got to put it on manual for three, I call it this one custom, because I'm, I'm using a, okay, put this on custom, all right, oh, that's cool. all right, now go to time, and down to three minutes, that's all it's going to take, and it's not, Shouldn't take long to come to pressure. I want to make sure that's going to be sealed. All right, it is. Okay. There. So that's all there is to it. And people that just came in, if you want to know what's in here, there's uh, 12 ounces of pumpkin puree, which would be a cup and a half, um, a half a cup of apple juice or cider. I had apple juice that I made with my, that I made my Jello with, so I just used that. Um, a quarter cup of packed brown sugar, and I used coconut sugar instead. Um, one tablespoon of granulated white sugar, and I used cane sugar. Uh, half a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. A half, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, which I use the non-alcoholic, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. That's all that's in here. And this is the vanilla that I bought. Simply Organic. I got this from Amazon. It just came yesterday. Oh, and thank you for the Super Hearts, Alexis. I didn't notice that you gave those. Thank you so much. I sure do appreciate that. I appreciate it. Oh, there's Jahaisa. Good to see you, Jahaisa. Good to see you. Welcome. Yeah, I've just got just got it on. It's only going to take just a few minutes to come to pressure because it's only going to cook. It's only have to cook three minutes, so it shouldn't take that long. Not at all. Not at all. I'll put this down a little bit so you can watch it too. So it's going to be. You can see that it's it's going around right now, and as soon as it reaches the pressure, um, and I'll put this maybe so that you can. Yeah, I'll put it this way. So you can kind of see this is the button that's going to have to pop up. Of course, you might not be able to see it from the camera because it's facing the other direction. But anyway, um, this is going to be a good good pumpkin butter. I'm sure it is. It's not easy. It's not hard to make. Probably a, a spread that you can put on bread. I'm sure it would be pumpkin butter. Yeah, you spread it on bread. Um, it would It would be really good. Um, I happen to have this recipe 
And I was going to do apple butter, but I already had this. I already had this recipe. Uh, what's in pumpkin pie spice? I'm not sure, Missy. Let me look. Uh, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, allspice, and and other agents. So there is cinnamon in there, but I still use it. I. <laughs> So I probably could make my own. I'll have to figure out how to make my own. Actual cinnamon itself, I don't use it. but um, So I didn't use that much of it anyway. But I try to, you know, avoiding cinnamon itself. But if it's in something, you know, you can't avoid it. But um, anyway, what's everybody's weather doing today? Are you on the warm side? You know, we're going to be... We're going to be 70 coming up this week. Not today, I don't think so much. But this week, we're going to be 70. You're welcome, Missy. And thank you for coming in. Beautiful, sunny, and... Oh, I figured... I figured, Alexis, it'd be hot where you're at. <laughs> I figured you you were pretty warm. 60s in Chicago. Wow. Sunny. Sunny in Florida. San Diego's got 70. Oh, you're at the... <laughs> Seems you're always out shopping, Alexis. Don't spend all, spend all your money now. <laughs> And I was kind of, I was kind of joking about you not being able to uh, melt your marshmallows this morning in your replay. I watched it, and I know you said you said, "Well, Karen's probably gonna notice I didn't get all my melt my marshmallows melted, and she's gonna say something." Yeah, I did. <laughs> Seventy six. Wow. Well, you know, we're having an early spring. I do believe summer may come quite fast, but you know the weather's changing. It's changing all over. Yeah, I know, because you mentioned me. I watched the replay, and you mentioned me, and I cracked up laughing this morning. He says, yeah, she had a hard time melting those marshmallows. And I, I yeah, because you know how I I can struggle to do things. Well, I can show you. Um, this is basically what my corn chips look like. Now, they're a little, I got them a little too done because they're too crispy, but they're brown. But I can still eat them. They're just a little hard. I might, I don't know how I'm going to soften them up any. But I had them in too long, but I decided to put them in this bag. But they don't look too bad, and they still taste okay. They're just, they, they taste like they're stale because I cooked, I baked them too long. But that was the first time I'm making them, so. And I did order a tortilla press, which will be coming tomorrow. So by Sunday or Monday, I'll be able to make some flour tortillas and use the tortilla press. So that'll be coming tomorrow, which is good. So And also getting the tortilla warmer that you put the tortillas in. I'm getting one of those, too. So I thought, well, I better get both, so. I'll have that coming tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. Let me get this stuff out of here. Um, anyway, I'm glad the weather's finally warmed up, that the snow's melted. It's finally looking nice out here. We're beginning to look like summer weather. Oh, my. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's beautiful. Um, I think our, our bad weather's gone. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it is for everybody else, too, because I know a lot of you, like my daughter, she says, especially her, she had so much snow and stuff, she says she was just over it. She got tired of it. She didn't want any more snow. You know, in places like that, like the East Coast, Midwest, they get, they get snow throughout the, throughout the winter, not just one big snowfall. Here we get one big snowfall every few years, and after we get that one big snowfall, that's all we get. So I'm glad of that. No, I didn't. I didn't. No, I should have, Alexis. I didn't, though. <laughs> well, they don't have a tortilla press. I, I ordered them from Amazon. But if there's something I do need for the tortillas, I can certainly get it on. Since I got my party coming up on Monday. Now, I'll mention that while I'm in here. I got my party starting on Monday, going to the 25th. Where, feel free to order out of the, out of the new catalog. Because um, it's almost like ordering for, on Christmas morning, you know. Um... And you can order anything. There's a lot. There's some new items. There's there's the old standbys. This is in there yet. Um, there's there's plenty of there's plenty of things in, in there to order. If you if you if you want to order, go ahead and order. I've got two hundred and I think two hundred and two hundred nine two a little more than two hundred dollars two hundred dollars has come up already. Um, so I'm I'm glad of that. So uh, two hundred and what is it two hundred nine twenty or some such thing as that. Something like that. I know it's it's uh, pretty. It's 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 over two hundred anyway. Oh, there it just came up. It just sealed. If you want to if you want to see, I can turn around. You can see it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the red button is up. 
Anyway, it's sealed now. It just, it just, oh, now we have to watch for this. And it'll go to three minutes. And then when it gets to three minutes and counts down, then it'll be done. Three minutes isn't that long. So, anyway, I am so glad that I can come in here from day to day and make things for you. I really enjoy that. I have the best fun ever because you guys are so awesome. You stand by me even when I make mistakes like I did yesterday. You stand by me, but you're willing to help me and say, well, this is what you know. Because I was watching Alexis's replay this morning, and they were trying to tell her what to do with those marshmallows to get them to melt. She was having all kinds of problems to get them to melt, and they were trying to help her along. That's what good viewerships, uh, good viewers do. They help the broadcaster. You know, we all learn by watching the broadcaster, and the broadcaster learns by looking at the comments from the viewers and seeing what they have to say and following their lead. Because, you know, we may not know everything, and I certainly don't. Oh, my goodness. I certainly, When it comes to making those, those corn tortillas yesterday, I thought I could get by without a press. Well, I found out you can't really do it without a press. It's better to have a press because they'll come out all come out the same size. You won't have too much to worry about. But to, to do it the way I did it, my goodness, I I thought I was going to save save some time, but it just it was too long. <laughs> oh, you were putting oh you put him in the micro. Oh yes, that would work real well. I put him in the micro. Yeah, I've got the micro cooker too. Um, but she was trying to cook um, trying to melt it on the stove, and I I agree, uh, Alexis. It seemed like they were taking too long to to melt because when I was making a Hershey part, when I be, before I stopped eating chocolate, when I made a Hershey bar pie for, for potluck, it took, it caught for uh, melted marshmallows. And it seemed like it took forever for them to melt. But I put them in the chocolate and just kept stirring and stirring and stirring. And finally, they got melted. Uh, oh, yes. You know, this is a, this is a good thing to, to have. I love this thing. I use it a lot. As, but, and it's on three minutes right now. So it's, it's only three minutes. And once the three minutes is done, then I... Let it release for about five or ten, and then then manually release it, so it won't take long at all. But I love this thing because it is so handy. I mean, you could put everything in here um, if you want to. Those people that are not vegan, if you want to do like uh, mashed potatoes in a roast, you can do that. You put your roast on the bottom, sear it for, of course, and put your your steel rack in, and then put your um, cradle or your ceramic pan in your cradle in there and above it, and, and, and then turn it on and set it. Oh, you're a consultant too? Wonderful, wonderful. Alexis is in here, and she's a consultant. Um, and I buy a lot of Pampered Chef from her. Um, like I said, I'm hosting a party starting Monday. Um, goes from the 18th to the 25th, and the link is in Alexis's profile. Um, she's linked up to, uh, to my page on hers. And... Uh, Feel free to go through the catalog because the catalog's on there and feel free to go through that catalog and see if there's something in there that you want to buy. Oh, yeah, you can do that. You know, when I use, like when I make soup, I uh, do a vegetable broth. Now, I, um, yeah, I see, yeah, that's in, the link is in her profile. Um, now, I have a recipe for vegetable broth. If anybody wasn't in here when I made my vegetable broth last week, go on my profile and look at my Periscope from last week and I made the vegetable broth. And I'm following um, Alexis's lead on that because I didn't know you could make your own vegetable broth by saving the scraps from veggies like your carrots, um, maybe a little bit of onion, your cucumbers, your zucchini, your peppers, things like that, your peeling and that, and put them in there and... I just have a gallon bag because it calls for a gallon. So I just have one gallon bag because I've got a special place. I put it in the freezer and just fill it up and then just make my broth from that. And it's real good broth. It's real. Oh, my goodness. That's done already. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this and leave this for go for about five or ten minutes. I'm going to put that for ten minutes. Okay. So I can do that for ten minutes. And then I'm going to uh, time, it, time it that way so... Um, hi, Lisa. Good to see you. My pumpkin butter is, is done, and it's already cooked. It's already pressurized, and now it's gonna, I'm going to naturally release it 5 to 10 minutes, and then I'm going to go ahead and release it, at, uh, re, uh, manually release it after that. Uh, you know, I don't know. Since I don't eat meat um, and I don't eat ribs, you can only try and, and look. Um, and Hi, good to see you. 
Um, for those of you that have a quick cooker, like Missy or any of you who have a quick cooker, you can go on Facebook. There's a there are several quick cooker pages on Facebook. There's quick cooker recipes only. There's quick cooker uh, thing for the community. And there's tips and recipes as well. I think there's three or four of them. I'm a member of all, all three or four of them. You can go in there and ask questions. Or if you have a recipe, you post the recipe. And you can ask questions about certain things. So people have been asking about roasts, you know, if there's a certain size roast, you know, and it's bigger than what it calls for, what time do they have to set it for and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I didn't either, but I, I decided one day, hmm, I wonder if there's a quick cooker Facebook page. So I started um, searching in Facebook, and sure enough, I found them. So I've joined them. So I posted a couple of my recipes. I posted the, uh, uh, let's see, the, the lentil tacos. I posted them up there in the, in the quick, quick cooker recipes. Now on that one, the, uh, um, there's one that the, the, the lentil soup, the, the red lentil spinach soup, I couldn't post that because it already is there. So she told me, well, this is already here. You need to do a search. So whenever I make anything now, I do a search first to see if there's a recipe like that already on the site. And if there's not, then I could post it because they don't want you posting double, which is understandable. So I post that in there. I post whatever recipes I can. So I'll post this one in there too. If there's not a recipe for, I didn't see a recipe for pumpkin butter. So I'm going to try to post this on there too. But they have people come in there and ask questions all the time, you know. And I saw this one that she's only used her, her uh, quick cooker twice and she wants to sell it. She's not, she's not happy with it. And people are trying to talk her out of selling it. She's just not giving the quick cooker a chance. You don't, I don't understand it. She just doesn't like it, I guess, for some reason. Boy, I tell you, I like mine from the first I used it. And that's why I use it all the time, because I love it. It seems intimidating to some people. I think that's what it is. They're intimidated by it, you know. They really don't don't like the way it works. But I, I like it. I think it's a lot better than the Instant Pot. It's got your 16 programs. It's actually engineered better than the Instant Pot. The, they took some time to, to figure out how they wanted to do this after the Instant Pot came out. And I'm glad they did. This is, as far as I know, it just came out in September of last year. So this is a fairly new product. Um, and it is in your catalog. Um, with the just the steel rack, it's $240. Now, if you buy the, buy the one with the accessories like I did, you get the steel rack, your cradle, your ceramic pot, and your steel form pan, and that's $285. That's the better way to go because you get all the accessories. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. You get all the accessories because you're going to have to buy them separately anyway. If you buy them with a quick hooker, you're going to save some money. So that's the way I bought it. But since I hosted a party in January, I was able to get 60% off. You're welcome. I was able to get 60% off of any item in the catalog. So I decided to take 60% off on this, and I've only had to pay $114 for it. To me, that was a bargain, a real bargain. And that's why I did it in January, because I told Alexis, I want the quick cooker. So I knew that I could I could get that. So I thought, oh, I'm going to go ahead and, and get it. And I did. Yes, it is. Now, $285 for a lot of people is very expensive. A lot of people can't afford it, and that's understandable. But if you can get it at a, at a good price, go ahead and get it. Um, <laughs> I explained it better than you, Alexis. <laughs> oh, you do pretty good, Alexis. But anyway, that's it. That's the, you just go into your catalog and see what there is to get in, to, to you can buy in there. I know there's some things I want to get. I want to get the seals for this because the, the new catalog just came out the 1st of March, and they have the seals in, in there, two different colors, blue and black. One's for savory and one's for desserts. Which I like that idea because you you can change your um, seals around when you do from savory to desserts and, and vice versa. You can change it and put the other one in. So you, so the taste from the savory doesn't go into your desserts or what have you. But uh, this is a very nice piece of equipment. I love mine. And it's, as uh, Alexis tells me, I'm a pro using this. Well, I don't feel I'm a pro but let's put it this way. I know a little bit more than I did when I got it because I've used it quite a bit. So, and I've used it quite, a, uh, and I, I try to use it maybe once or twice a week if I can. I don't use it every day, but I try to use it once or twice a week. I've got it. I might as well, if it's a good piece of machine uh, equipment, I might as well just use it. Welcome to Periscope for the very first time. Uh, you know, and I paid 114 for it. I'm going to get my money's worth and I've got my money's worth and then some really, I tell you, 
Oh, I love it. And don't be intimidated by this at all. If it looks intimidating to you, it's not. Because it's not going to explode. Um, <laughs> yeah, I almost it almost seems like I do, doesn't it? It almost seems like I do. I use it quite a bit. I come on here and Periscope with it quite a bit. But anyway, don't let this intimidate you. It's a very good piece of machinery or equipment or tool. It's a good tool. Let's put it that way. It's a good appliance. And it does everything you want it to and then some. It's a slow cooker as well. However, the rock crock is also a slow cooker as well. So you could get that and use that as a slow cooker and not use this as a slow cooker. Because this is more like a pressure cooker. That's what this is. Welcome, Phyllis. Good to see you. That's what this is, really, a pressure cooker. And if you remember the pressure cookers from years ago that uh, you put on the stove, that jiggled, that, that had the thing on the top and they jiggled, I hated that thing because I could never get it regulated right. This is a Pampered Chef quick cooker. Um, the consultant for Pampered Chef that we have is in here right now, Alexis Candu. She is the consultant that we use. She has a Facebook page. Uh, just go on her profile and, and uh, join her Facebook page. page and uh, the link for, for my party is in her Facebook page. She linked it together. I've got a party started Monday. Um, you're welcome. Um, yeah, I had one for the longest time. It was a Presto, but that thing was very intimidating. I didn't use it that much. I used to, uh, when I lived on the farm, I had, we'd, we'd uh, have green beans in the garden. I'd take and pressure cook those because they're very good pressure cooked. But that thing was so doggone intimidating because I thought the darn thing was going to explode on me. And they are known to pop the vents out, and it did. It popped the vent once. And that scared the heck out of me. And I didn't use it much after that. But now that they've got electric ones, yeah, you got that right. It's scary. This is not scary. And yet some people have said, this is scary looking. I don't know why. You can't get burnt on that. Well, you can if you get your face and have up to the steam when it's coming out, which is human error. You shouldn't do that. But this will not explode on you. You won't have a vent popping out or anything like that. Nothing like of that sort. It's wonderful to have. It's simple to use. I don't understand why people don't want to use it. And as I've said before, any Instant Pot recipe will work in here. Because what I've made is for the Instant Pot. It's just the concept is the same, but the wording is different. Because here, we use custom instead of manual. And use sear instead of saute. So it, it's, and we have a lot more programs on it than your actual Instant Pot has. But I'm not taking anything away from the Instant Pot. I just think that this, oh, there, it looks like that it finally went down. Okay, let me, let me unplug this. It, it already um, went out, so I'm going to go ahead and lower this, or take this off. you got to be very careful when you take the lid off, because it is quite hot. I didn't think it would go down that fast. Let me get my spoon. Let me lower this down a little bit so you can probably see inside the pot. It's going to be kind of hard. Let me see where I might put my spoon. Um, oh, here. And I'll take... Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this back. And I'm going to sit sit it on my... Uh, my... Uh, um, the... Tar, tar, the rack. And I'll let you see it. Oh, oh, everything's falling in my sink. Oh, well, better get my, better get my lid out of there. I don't want that getting wet. This over here. Set that over here. That way nothing will happen to it. Okay, now let me get my grippers and get that out of there. Because you certainly don't want to touch this with your hands. This is hot, hot, hot. Okay, now I can I can lift it up and I can show you. There's the pumpkin butter. Okay, I just put that on ten minutes. I didn't have to because it already. But see there, there's the pumpkin butter. Doesn't that look good? Look at that. See, look at that. That looks really good. I'm gonna let that cool down before I, I um, put it in a container. But there's the pumpkin butter. Not much to make it at all. 
Very, very, and, and anybody can make this. You don't even have to be vegan to make it. You know, just have your pumpkin puree. Your, um, it has to be not the pumpkin, not the pumpkin uh, pie filling, but the pumpkin puree. The actual can of pumpkin. It's 100% pumpkin puree. Oh, let's see. Doesn't that look good? Um, you can freeze this. I do know it says you can freeze it. Let me see what this says. Um, it says store in an airtight sealed container in the fridge until ready to use. Can be frozen as well. So you store it in an airtight sealed container, which I have the airtight containers. Oh, yes, yes. I love the cooling rack. Yep, I use this all the time, Alexis. I, I love it. But look at, see, doesn't that look real good? Um, I'm going to get my get my uh, container out put it in there. Let's see which one I can put that in. It should fit fine in this, uh, this one here. And these are from Pampered Chef. This here is from Pampered Chef. And I'm going to go ahead and stick this in here. It should, it should go in here just fine. You'll be able to see this a little bit better than in the pot. Because this is an airtight container. It will not... It will not, um, nothing will leak out. It's leak proof. And that's why I got it. In fact, I wish I had some more of them. I may just order some more because they are so nice. Now you can, you can use the lids in the microwave. However, when you put the lids, when you, when you use the lids to them in the microwave, do not just sit the, just sit the lid on top. Do not snap the seals down. You'll ruin it. You just have the snaps open and it'll be just fine. There. Now you can see now, doesn't that look good? Look at that. That is going to be real good. And I'll keep it in the refrigerator and I'll use it every morning on my toast. Let me actually, let me um, get a little spoon and I'll, try, I'll taste it for you. See what it tastes like. Mmm, mmm, that is good. That is so good. Wow. Very, very good. Very tasty. Doesn't that look pretty? Look at that. Very simple to make. Very simple to make. Um, anybody can make this that wants to make it. If you like pumpkin, go ahead and try it. You can't go wrong. If you eat a lot of toast, I eat toast, and this will be good. You know, I like... I can put the, uh, put this on top of peanut butter. I, I eat peanut butter, and then I can put the pumpkin butter on top of that, or a pumpkin butter by itself. But it's so good. And like I said, this is a five quart container, and here's the here's the lid. I can close it up, but you can see it with it in there. And it's it's, it's a, it, they seal they snap real good. Hard hard when they're brand new like that to give them a snap. But there you go. See there. See and there you go. Doesn't that look there? So it's it's a a real good. Welcome back, Melissa. I'm going to take this off. Just I'll show you how, how they snap on there, but I'll take that off temporarily so you can see how it looks like. But don't be afraid to, to make something new. I wanted to make pumpkin butter in the in the Instant Pot because I knew it wouldn't take very long. Three minutes? What is that? It doesn't take very long at all. And you could, it's a very pretty color. It's got your spice in it, your pumpkin pie spice. It's got salt in it. It's got apple juice. Um... Real good, real good flavor it really has. I really, I'm really, I'm going to really enjoy that. And it's just right. Doesn't make an awful lot, but it's just right. So, uh, just look for new uh, recipes. If you've got an Instant Pot, try it in your Instant Pot. Because like I said, everything I put in this quick cooker is for the Instant Pot. With the exception of a few things that I made when I first got it that came in the quick cooker cooking guide. And, which there are some in this that I made. But other than that, every every recipe that I, I make for the for the cook for that I put in the cook cooker is for the Instant Pot. It's like I said, the concept is the same. It's just the wording is a little different. Um, you could put it on toast. Could use pumpkin butter on your toast. You do put a warm get your warm toast out of the out of the out of the toaster or even toaster oven if you have a toaster oven use that too. Put the pumpkin butter on there. It's good on toast. Real good. Yeah, doesn't it, though? Um, apple butter is the same thing. Apple butter you could use on toast, too. I haven't made that one yet, but I want to try and make that one, too. But 
I thought I'd try this, this pumpkin butter goes. I've had the recipe a while and it didn't take long to make it three minutes and then just naturally released it and it released really quick. I didn't have, didn't have to wait very long at all. In less than 10 minutes it was released. So, and you can see that it looks, it looks really good. Look at that. Um, and it's got a good flavor, like I said, very good flavor. Only took a cup and a half of your pumpkin puree. Now it has to be the pumpkin puree. It has to be, it has to be this, not the pumpkin pie filling. It has to be this. Uh, the pumpkin pie filling will not work because that's got all your, your stuff in it and you don't want that. You want the pumpkin, pumpkin puree. Let me throw this away. Because the pumpkin, the pumpkin pie filling is just for to make your pumpkin pies. You don't want to do that with this. You just want your, you just want to, the puree. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to find any pumpkin now, but you can probably find it on maybe Amazon. I've got a few thing, a few cans of it stocked up around here, so I have some on hand when I need it. Um, but it's real simple to make, and it's like I said, the ingredients are everything you have in your in your pantry. Your pumpkin puree, you might have to go search that out, search that out. But you'd have apple juice or cider, or you'd have your brown sugar. You'd have your white sugar, your pumpkin pie spice, or vanilla extract, and your salt. Everybody would have those. You keep those in your pantry and use them for for your different uh, things that you make. And I'm, I did, could not make this. Um, oh, here they are. <laughs> here they are. They're a little. They, they, they don't look too bad, however, I put them in the oven for a little too long, I think. Um, they're a little more crispier than I want to have them, but I can still eat them. It's going to take a little more to chomp down on them, but you can see they're nice and brown. I just wish I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have put, put them in there so long. Hi, good to see you. Uh, I just had to try the different temperatures, so, um, but they're okay. I can eat them. They're, they're edible. Um, so... Uh, but you know, you learn by doing, you make mistakes and then you could, yeah, but everybody was willing to help me yesterday and help me with the mistakes I was making. But I'll have you know, the new, the people that just came in, I'm getting the tortilla press. So the next time I go to make tortillas, I'll have the press to use. So I won't have to worry about, um, trying to flatten them with a plate and having them stick to the plastic or wax paper or what have you. So I'm going to, cause I decide, well, I'm going to have to do something cause I want to start making my own tortillas instead of buying them. Since I make my own stuff anyway, because I, I eat enough tacos now, you know, with the, you know, make the lentil tacos in the, in the, oh, thank you for the super hearts. And I, and I make enough tacos in the, or, or you know, stuff in the Instapot anyway. I got my lentil, hi Tammy, good to see you. Got my lentil taco recipe that I put in the co quick cooker and it tastes so good. And I just put, put them in there and, and eat them and, it's, and, Making your own is a lot better than what you buy in the store. A lot better. Because you know what you have in them. So I plan on making some flour tortillas, the next ones. Um, I have to get the recipe for it. I don't have a recipe for it, but I know there's plenty out there. Um, get the flour tortillas and, and put them in the tortilla. Now this is, my, this is my pumpkin butter for those that just came in. Doesn't this look good? I agree with you. I agree with you. They are the best. Yes, they are the best. Now, if you weren't here yesterday, I tried to make corn tortillas yesterday. They didn't turn out real good. So people said, well, why don't you make corn chips out of them? That was a good idea. So I cut them up, and I didn't do the corn chips part of it, bake them until after off camera. It took about three or four batches in my in my uh, convection oven. They're a little, they're a little harder than I want. But you can see they turned a little brown, so they're not too bad. I put olive oil on them, they're not too bad. So but that was a good idea people had. I didn't intend for it to be that way, but you know, it's been more it's been that way before, more than once where I started trying start, started making something and ended up making something else because the first thing I made didn't turn out. That's what happens sometimes. You just have to go with the flow and, and make what you can. And I didn't let it bother me. It was a little embarrassing, but I kept right on trying anyway. You didn't make mistakes. I kept right on going. You learn by doing. You ha you need to to try things one time. It's it's trial and error anyway. Like I always said, because it's hard to get it right the first time. It was hard for probably um, Alexis to get that candy right the first time this morning because she was having trouble getting the marshmallows melted. 
It's hard if you've never done it before, you know. But once you've done it, then you kind of learn what you, how to do it the next time. And and then you you can cor kind of correct your mistakes you, you, you had. Let me get some water. You can correct your mistakes. And I know that, that uh, Alexis had problems with her marshmallows this morning, but when she got done, that looked really good, especially using those Lucky Charms. And it's funny how, how Bryce wanted to eat those Lucky Charms. <laughs> she had them for her candy. He kind of wanted to eat them. You know, he's, he's like a little kid. A lot of kids are like, they're Apple Jacks. Well, I eat Apple Jacks. And, and uh, I don't eat Lucky Charms, but I eat Apple Jacks. It's kind of funny, but I like them. But it's fun to make your own food. Because when you make your own, you know exactly what's in it. You don't have to guess. You're making everything healthy. And that's why I like to make my own foods. Because everything is very, very healthy. You know, I try to make, I try to make things as simple as I can. Now, some of the recipes I've made, they have a lot more ingredients to them than normal. Because like Alexa said, four or five ingredients in a recipe is about right. Now, this has one, two, three. This is about six if you don't want to count the salt. So that, it's not bad. But it's very, very simple to make. Anybody can make this. You don't have to be vegan to like this. I think this looks really pretty. Really looks good. Um, I think that anybody that makes this is going to like it. Put it on your toast in the morning. And once you put it in an airtight container, you can keep it in the refrigerator. You can freeze it as well. They say it's freezable too. But if you eat toast every day with pumpkin butter on it, it's not going to last you very long and it's going to be gone. I know my, pe my peanut butter doesn't last very long because I use it all the time. Um, but don't be afraid to make your own stuff. That's why Alexis comes in and makes her own stuff. She knows exactly what she's putting in the food that she's making. She doesn't have to guess. You know, people ask her what's in there. She can just show the recipe. Well, this is what I have in it. She knows, you know, because the stuff that you buy in the store, they've got a lot more chemicals in it than necessary. But they do that to preserve them. But those chemicals are not good for you. You don't know where they came from. You don't know what the chemical really is. And if you can't pronounce it, don't put it in your body. <clears throat> Um, you, you, I've made that in my Vitamix. You can't really make that in the Instapot. You can make peanut butter, yes, but that just takes, takes peanuts and, and, uh, put them in my Vitamix and, and use this tamper. And I've done that. I, I don't make a peanut butter like I should. I'd rather buy it than make it because it takes a while. It it's hard to make it in the Vitamix and it's hard to get it out. So I avoid making it in there, but you can make your own peanut butter, but you can't make it in here. Not that I know of. I've never seen one for that in there. Because uh, it's a different consistency. Your, your, your pumpkin butter is moist. Your, your peanut butter is not. So there's a different consistency. So I don't think you can really do it in there. But you never know. I mean, there's so many things for the um, Instant Pot. I'm surprised how many recipes I've seen for the Instant Pot that I didn't know there was. You know, but don't be afraid to, if you've got an Instant Pot, to use it and make them uh, and just try some of the recipes you see. And if you get a quick cooker, don't worry about if your recipes don't work because any Instant Pot recipe will work. You just have to change the, just look at the wording on your quick cooker and realize the saute is sear on the quick cooker and uh, manual is custom on the quick cooker. That's all you have to worry about, you know, and get it. And it's not hard to do. You saw me how I did it. I put it on custom, then time down to three minutes. Didn't take very long at all. It's, hi, Barnes. Good to see you. Are you out of rehab yet? I keep worrying about you not getting home. I bet you're getting tired of it. It's good to see you, Barnes. Um, I hope you're doing okay. Um, and I hope you can get out of that rehab and get home pretty soon. It's got to be hard. They probably don't feed you very well. You want to get home to your good home cooking. <laughs> but anyway, if you can see my pumpkin butter, Barnes, this is real easy to make. And if, since you just came in, I'll tell you what it has in it. 12 ounces of... Uh, your pumpkin puree, which would be a cup and a half, um, a half a cup of apple juice or cider. I had apple juice, so I used that. Uh, one quarter cup of packed brown sugar, and I don't use brown sugar. I use coconut sugar instead. Um, and, and one tablespoon of granulated white sugar, and I use cane sugar. Um, one half tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. 
a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. That is all that is in there. Pure, plain and simple. Not much at all. And see what it made? It looks real good. Nice. Tastes good, too. I've already tasted it. Look at the color on it. Tastes, it looks really good. People ask what you use the pumpkin butter for. Get your toast out of the toaster or toaster oven or whatever you use and put your pumpkin butter on there and it's going to be absolutely delicious. Because I've had pumpkin butter before and it's so good. If you make it yourself, it's going to taste a lot better what you buy in the store. Much, much better. Much better. Now there is one store that I go to that you can make your own peanut butter. They have a, a thing there that you grind your own peanuts and make your own peanut butter and apple and um, uh, almond butter. So, and I've done that already, which doesn't take, which isn't bad. It tastes good, but I think I'd rather make it here at home. Although almonds, you got to grind them up and there's a little bit more to it. So if I want to, if I want homemade peanut butter, I'll just get it there, get it in a container and bring it home. But other than that, something like this, I'll make, I'll make some apple butters at one time too. Um, don't be afraid to make your own foods. You know what's in them that way. It's a lot better for you. Don't worry about those chemicals in there. Those chemicals in there are harmful. That's why well, I should say you should worry, but don't don't uh, uh, um, look at them and say, well, I wonder what this chemical is, because you don't know. None of us know what those chemicals are. We don't know where they came from. And if you can't pronounce them, you certainly don't want to put them in your body. I know I don't. I can't pronounce most of them. They're real long, real long list. Of, I mean, your chemicals are about like this, and you've got so many doggone letters in your chemicals, and I've tried to pronounce them, and I cannot pronounce them. Um, and there is one ingredient that I will tell you about right now that you should be aware of, and Erlene and I know about it. Not too many people do, and that is carrageenan. It is very bad for your immune system. If you uh, find something that's vegan or something that has carrageenan in it, do not, do not buy it. I was going to get me some vegan, I can't remember what it was. I was looking on Amazon this morning for something vegan, and it's got carrageenan in it. And I thought, oh no, don't want that. You know, you're right. It is. Sugar is very bad for you. Yes, it is. But I don't use refined sugar anyway. I use your uh, cane sugar, and I also use coconut sugar as for brown sugar. So that's what I use. So I, I just get a little bit of cane sugar in here and a little bit of brown sugar. Plus I've got the, the apple juice and the pumpkin and salt, the pumpkin pie spice. That's all that's in here. Simple. Not much to it at all. Not much. You don't need much to make it. Um, and it looks good. It's healthy. Something that I can put on my toast in the morning. In fact, I could uh, I could have a peanut butter sandwich later if I wanted to. For a snack, I'd put the pumpkin butter on there. It doesn't have to be on toast. Any way you want to eat it, you just eat it because it's very healthy. And like I said, in both coming in, this is what you have to use. The pumpkin puree, not your pumpkin uh, pie filling. That has your spices in it. You don't want that. It has to be the pumpkin puree. Um, well, well, sugar cane is, is better for you than actual refined sugar, though. Uh, uh, let's see, what does it say? Your body doesn't... No, it's probably true. It doesn't. It doesn't differentiate, no. But you have, you have to, t but you have to know what's good for your body and what isn't. Um, I do use cane sugar, but I use it sparingly. I don't use a lot of it. I just use it for whatever the recipe calls for, and that's it. I don't, I don't put it in cereal or anything like that. That's basically what I have it for. It's just my recipes, and whatever the recipe calls for, that's what I use, and that's it. I don't, I use it sparingly. I don't, don't go whole hog over it. You can't because. Sugar really isn't good for you. Cancer loves sugar. It really does. Um, oh, cool, Earlene. Did you post it up on the page? Because I want to try that. Spinach dip. Now, that sounds good. Um, I've made guacamole in here before. That's real good. And that's made with um, avocados. Avocados are... Oh, okay. Avocados are really good. Okay. Avocados, if you've never had an avocado, they are very, very good. Oh, for your dog? Yes, I heard that's good for your dog. Um, I did that for my, for my, uh, she sued that got sick. It, the vet told me to give her canned pumpkin because 
She was bound up and couldn't go, but it didn't help because she died anyway. But uh, I just keep in front of the recipes that I make. Uh, did I make vegan tacos with the tortillas? No. The tortillas I made yesterday ended up, um, didn't turn out as good as I wanted them to. However, people said, well, why you can make corn chips out of them. So that's what I did. I cut them up and I made corn chips out of them and baked them in the oven off camera. Um, a little bit crispier than I like because I didn't know exactly what to put the temperature of the oven at. Had them in there a little longer than I should. But they're still okay. They look real good, as you can see. They look nice and good, nice and brown. I put olive oil on them. And, uh, oh, yes, on top of salad, absolutely. But uh, I'm going to eat them because they're a little, crispier, a little crispier than I want, but they'll be fine, you know. I can, I can eat them anyway. I can dip them or something, whatever I want, soften them up maybe, but they're good. But I was thankful that people were in here yesterday and they were guiding me because I was having all kinds of problems with those tortillas simply because I didn't have a press. Now I've ordered one and it's going to be coming tomorrow. So I'm, getting, I'm going to be getting that. And Alexa said there's stuff for tortillas on Pampered Chef. Well, I didn't know that, but if there's anything else I need, I'm certainly going to get it because I need to... Um, buy some stuff anyway for, me, my, for myself when my party comes. And those that aren't aware, I got a party started on Monday. It goes from the, tw from the 18th to the 25th. The link is in Alexis's profile. She is in here right now. Just check her Facebook page out. You'll find the link there. The catalog is up there. Feel free to go through the catalog. Um, uh, browse at your heart's content. Maybe you'll find something in the catalog that you want. There's old standbys in there. Plus, there's stuff in there that's brand new, like the uh, waffle puff pan, the uh, thing that she uses for the batter. Um, yeah, I know you're here, Alexis. I said you were here. Oh, just got home. Um, and the waffle puff pan is new. And the thing that looks like a just a big old whipped cream maker that for the batter, that's new. Um, oh, hi from Mexico. Welcome. As you can see, my pumpkin butter. It, it got done. It didn't take very long. Oh, yeah, the wok. Yep, the wok. This didn't take very long in the Instapot. Or my quick, quick, quick cooker only took three minutes. And look at it. It looks so good. Look at that. Uh, and it's just got a few ingredients in it. Um, put it on, on bread. You can put it on toast. You can put it on anything that you want. In fact, I'm going to do that when I get off camera. Put it on some toast. Put it on some bread with peanut butter. Yum. I've already had my lunch. But uh, it's going to be so good. But I like making stuff for myself because I know what's in it. I don't like buying a lot of the processed foods in the stores. Processed foods aren't good for you. When you start looking at the ingredients in them, you don't know where most of the chemicals come from anyway. You can't pronounce them. So leave them alone. You know, and if they got a lot of ingredients in the, on the packaging, put it back. That's what I do. But you know, it's amazing how many people don't even check the ingredients on the, on the labels. They don't. They just put it in their cart thinking, well, they've been eating it for years, so they're just going to buy it anyway without checking the ingredients. You've got to check the ingredients because you'd be surprised what's in some of that stuff. A lot of some stuff has propylene glycol in there, and everybody knows what that is. That's antifreeze. You don't want to buy anything that has antifreeze in it. Um, wow, that sounds absolutely luscious. Mm, mm, banana cake, yum. Sounds so good. I've made banana bread. I've made zucchini bread. That all sounds real good, too. I've, and uh, you can make a chocolate cake in the quick cooker. Um, I've made the cheesecake in there. I've still got one slice left, which I'll have to have that, eat that today. I haven't finished that yet. Um, in case those I haven't seen, I can show you the one slice I've got left, what my, what my cheesecake looked like. Oh, your tortilla soup? Oh, yes. Yum, yum. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat this today, but this is what this is what I got left, and this is what was made made in the quick cooker. It had several slices to it, and this is the last one left, and it is so good, it's to die for. It is really really good. You can make a cheesecake in here, as the recipe is in the in the book. Um, oops, right, let's see. I tried to make the chocolate pudding too, but I made a. Uh, yeah, I made a mistake on mine. If I wouldn't put the applesauce in, it would have been better because it's a little too sweet. 
But here's the strawberry cheesecake. It comes in the quick cooker cooking guide. This is to die for. This is very, very good. I suggest if you get a quick cooker, you can make it. You could be, probably make it in the Instant Pot, too. But this is this is what I have left. Doesn't that look good? And the strawberry sauce is really good, too. I plan on eating that from, for my dessert. I meant to eat it up yesterday, and I didn't. But I've kept it in the refrigerator, so I'm going to eat it today and finish it up. But don't be afraid to make your own foods. Um, you made it three times? Wow! <laughs> I guess it really was good then. Oh, man. Oh, I bet you you loved it. Did your mom have any of it, Alexis, or do you even want to eat it? Oh, add one cup of sour cream to the recipe. Well, I use vegan sour cream. That probably would be good, too, Alexis. Well, oh, me, the crust, one and a half. Okay. Well, just for me, I'm... I made it the way it was because it was just right because I'm the only one. Because you, you'd have to double yours because you got your mom and Bryce. Um, oh, good. Uh, oh, you're welcome and take care and God bless. But just for me, just the way it was. But I think the next time I make it, instead of putting the chia seeds in there, I'm going to use the um, um, arrowroot and use that for, in place of the egg instead of the, instead of the uh, um, chia, chia seeds. And the same thing with the... Uh, Chia of oh, the, the chocolate pudding. That'll be a lot better. Okay, take, all right. Um, you have a nice day as well. But when you make your own things, like, look, Alexa, she's made the cheesecake three times. That goes to show you she's really liked it. It's really good. I'm going to make this again, too. That It is so good. Um, I just have to go buy the the um, vegan cream cheese and, and for it. I have, don't have it. I have to go buy it. Um, you, too. And the store I shop at once in a while has it. I'll have to go back there and get some. Whenever I want to make this again, probably be a while. But when I make it again, I'll have to go get the cream cheese for it. But uh, it sure did come out good. I was really pleased with it. Now, the chocolate pudding would have come out better if I hadn't put the applesauce in there. I should have known better, but I was going to try it. Human error, there you go. Trial and error. But at least I know the next time not to put applesauce in it. Just use air, like arrowroot or whatever for the lieu of the eggs. It would have been a lot better. But. You know, such is life. <laughs> it is what it is. But anyway, I've got my kitchen to clean up. I got dishes to do again. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go off for now. But I thank you all for coming in and sharing this out, the live live viewers as well as the replay viewers. I'll be back on again tomorrow. Not sure what I'll make yet, but I'll be back on again tomorrow. So in the meantime, take care. God bless. Love you all and bye bye.